welcome back to the Seven Smushed Eggy Show. <laughs> I'm here today with Lord Peeperton. Say hello to everyone, Lord Peeperton. <laughs> today I'm going to talk about my favorite things, because why not get to know me a little better? <laughs> um, my favorite color is black and pastel pink. I like to wear black all the time, but, like, I like pink things. You know what I'm saying? I would never wear pink because I look like fucking Princess Peach, but it's an admiral color. I would say so myself, and Lord Peeperton is a fan of yellow, specifically piss yellow. Um, I'm 20 years young. My favorite animal would be wolves and cats. I like wolves because they're just big, fluffy dogs, and that's awesome. And I like cats, specifically black cats and solid white cats, because they're so cute. And I feel like my personality fits more with a cat, so I would love to have a bunch of cats, maybe a rat, so I can name them after Toontown. Cogs, you know, me and Charlotte were discussing this earlier, and I think that's a brilliant idea. So, those are my favorite animals, and of course, I love a little Peeperton every now and then. So, I apologize for the obnoxious filter, but you know, I'm not wearing makeup. Um, I haven't been sleeping very well, so I have like really bad bags under my eyes. I'm trying to trying to cover that. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to look like unprofessional for the channel. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you're going to see this filter popping in and out as it always does on <laughs> this fucking app, bro. My favorite bands. Oh, that's Pee-Pee's butt. <laughs> my favorite bands are Evanescence, Seether, um, Mars Argo, Pierce the Veil, and yeah, I think those are my favorite bands right now, and um, my favorite Evanescence album is The Open Door, I also really like the new one that just came out, um, I really like Seether, their new album is, I feel like their newer music is actually better than the older music, because you can tell he's got, he's gotten a lot more into his style, um, I think I, I said Mars Argo, right, yeah, I love Mars Argo, but she doesn't really make music anymore, but if she did, I'd be super excited to hear it. And I love Pierce the Veil. I think my favorite Pierce the Veil album is Misadventures, but I really like all of them. So, yeah. <laughs> Where am I right now? I'm in my basement. And as you could probably tell, I move around a lot. So that's, that's, that's a big reason why I don't really make face videos because it's a fucking pain in the ass, but it's not my channel if I don't do some weird face video every now and then talking at you. I know y'all missed it. I kind of missed it too. And they're gonna, there's gonna be a lot more in the future, so don't even worry about it. Who do I look up to? Uh, Amy Lee. Obviously, she's the, she's the reason why I even got into wearing dresses all the time because she's just so beautiful. And I'm like, damn, like I wish I could be like someone as cool as her. And like that's why I got into writing too because I can't sing like her. But I've always wanted to touch people's hearts like in the way that she did in a different way. Um, the happiest point in my life. Um, it hasn't happened yet. But I think every time I'm with Charlie and my friends, I'm pretty happy. But I think the happiest day in my life is when I finally get married to Charlie and I have that really pretty wedding day. I think that's going to be the best day of my life. And that's like my ultimate dream in life. So super excited for that. Um, I'm really sad that people don't really hold marriage as an important thing anymore. A lot of people don't do it to be romantic. They kind of just do it for, like, financial gain. And I think that's really sad because you should love your soulmate and, like, be together forever. Like, that's kind of my thoughts on it. So, 
what's my sexuality? That's kind of a complicated question because I am in love with Charlotte and she's a girl. So like technically speaking, that would make me a lesbian, but also like I wouldn't care if Charlotte woke up tomorrow and she was a guy, you know what I mean? Like I am in love with Charlotte because she's Charlotte and it's as simple as that. Like I'm in love with her soul and being, so it doesn't really matter who she is. She just turned out to be a girl in this life. So I guess I could consider myself a lesbian since I'm going to be with her for the rest of my life. So there's no use like overcomplicating it, but my feelings for her are a lot stronger than her being a girl and I'm attracted to her. Because I think that's what real love is. And it shouldn't matter. What do I like to do in my free time? Well, obviously I have this channel for my free time. I like to sing. Um, I write a lot. I'm actually working on a game right now and I've written nine books anyone is ever interested in reading that. Um, I feel like I'm going to be writing till the day I die. Like that's kind of my plan. Like I never want to stop making new content and I really hope I can publish everything someday. Like that would be really cool. And, uh, but I'm really nervous. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, what if like no one likes this? And like, I'm just making a fool of myself and I'm like, I'm not talented, but like, I'm really trying to like, not be so insecure about it because I worked really hard and I do want it to be out there but I know I'll probably get a lot of criticism for it so I'm like still in my shell right now I'm not really ready and I don't have the money for like an agent or anything right now so oh my god I also like to play video games uh, my favorite types of games are RPG horror games uh, me and my friend Daisy did a few covers together. We're working on a Hello Charlotte one. My favorite RPG... Oh, PP fell, sorry. Um, my favorite um, RPG horror game is Hello Charlotte, actually, but I also really like Corpse Party and The Witch's House. I think those are, like, my top three, like, always. But I'm talking about only the first Corpse Party game. Like, it's a whole other video for another day because the other Corpse Party games, like, literally make me want to kill myself. But, um... I also like League of Legends, I like Stardew Valley, I've been really getting into that, and of course I like Animal Crossing and like Nintendo games, and I love dating sims, I guess that's kind of like a guilty pleasure of mine, like Nekopara, Vanilla Best Girl, you know what I mean, but, and I like anime, but I don't really talk about that, <laughs> it's a little cringe. What's it like living with mental illness, girl? I could make a whole video about that, but it's a pain in the ass. It's a bitch. Um, it's hard getting out of bed every day because it, like, literally feels like, like, the second I lay down, like, hands are just grabbing me and, like, pushing me down on my bed. Like, I can't get up. And it's, like, really hard to get the motivation to even, like, take a shower or something. So I definitely have to force myself and lie to myself and push through my exhaustion because I'm always tired it doesn't matter how much I sleep and of course I get really insecure and like I have really low self-esteem sometimes and that's like really challenging but you just gotta have to, you just have to get through it and like I'm lucky I have friends to support me I'll probably make a whole video about this in depth this is just kind of a brief interview with myself but yeah doesn't define me What's an ideal scenario? Um, I would love to have hair to my butt. That'd be great. Really shitty hair genetics. I'd love to live in Texas with Charlotte and have a really nice house. And I'd love a whole closet full of clothes. You know, I'm, I'm a little materialistic. I'm a, I'm a girl. I'd love to fix my vision because blind as a bat. <laughs> It'd be nice to fucking see shit. Uh, I would want to spend time with it, like all my friends and like because they're like family to me since my family situation is not very good I don't know if I'm ever gonna talk about that that's kind of too much information for y'all but yeah and yeah I kind of just want like a simple life like that just being able to be with everyone always and being comfortable I guess and it's nice to have like those big extreme things but it's like I know that wouldn't make me happy in the long run 
anyways, this video has been very long and I apologize. Um, let me know if y'all want me to make longer phase videos like this or if you like the short, like, quirky stuff. Because I don't mind making either or. So, yeah, I just tend to do disassociate a lot. So, <laughs> the longer videos I kind of space out a lot more, I feel like. But if y'all are into that and you have that patience, because I don't have a script. Obviously, I just kind of say what's on the top of my head. And maybe I should make a script, but I think it's more real if I'm just sitting in front of the camera and just kind of saying whatever. Because, you know, a script is kind of like, it's more organized, yeah, and you don't space out as much. But, like, I don't know. It doesn't really feel like I'm talking to people. It feels like I'm talking to, like, like I'm a commercial or something. <laughs> Anyways, bye-bye. See you next time.